Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis. So in our fourth part of our Linux networking basics, we will look at ARP. So what is ARP and how does it work? Uh, ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. It works on the data link layer of OSI model. If you don't know about the OSI model, I would really recommend and suggest you to just uh, search for OSI model. Okay, so back to our discussion. Uh, basically, ARP works on the data link layer of OSA model, but we can think it as a layer 2.5 protocol, meaning that it works between data link layer and the network layer, network layer being the third layer of OSA model. Okay, so ARP basically it is used to convert IP address to Ethernet or MAC addresses, and MAC stands for media access control basically this is the hardware address of nic or network interface card okay so let me explain how the communication begins the main point is to note that the communication begins when one computer tries to initiate the conversation with another computer or another machine for example let's us let us consider an example of ping um, so let me ping our Slackzilla box, which is ping 192.168.1.228. Okay, and we can see that the communication began. Let me just con uh, cancel this communication or the ping. Okay, so now to uh, check what's happening in the background, I'm going to start TCP dump uh, session. Okay. But first, uh, let me just clear the cache or ARP cache. So in CentOS, we can check our uh, uh, ARP cache in CentOS 7, basically with IP neighbor command, NIGH. Okay, we already have this. Uh, you can see the cache, uh, the ARP, uh, basically the MAC address in our cache. So I'm just going to flush all the cache with IP dash s dash s neighbor flush all s stands for stat okay okay flush is complete and if i check this time ip neighbor and it's gone okay good okay now let me run this tcp dump command okay my ip address is 192.168.1.3 so, and guys, I'll try to, uh, from this uh, video, I'll try to just make my videos as small or as short as possible. So IP, uh, TCP dump, VV for more verbos, N is not to resolve the names, basically. Uh, C is to count, and count is 10. And I'm just going to check with host. 192.168.1.3 and ARP okay and the output file is going to be ARP let's say 10.pcap okay press enter and now okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my screen into two with tmux so let me pause the video Okay guys, I'm back and I'm going to issue the same command, tcp dump and dash vv and c 10 and host is going to be 192.168.1.3 and arp and output file is going to be arp 10.pcap press enter and in the next window I'm going to ping okay two we can see on the top it got two four packets okay waiting 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 let's wait okay guys so it got eight packets let me just um, stop this capture okay control b and control c that's it okay let's read uh, what's uh, okay let me just kill this 
DMAX screen. Okay, so we got this ARP10 and TCP dump. ARP10.pcap. Okay, so you can see from this uh, capture what we can see is that uh, there is a request who has 192.168.228 tell server1.local or this is this 192.168.1.3 and the length is 28 uh, bytes and then it is asking like the reply came in that 192.168.1.228 is at this MAC address you can see that the IP was converted to the MAC address and then the ARP request who has server like this is again it's repeating and the, it's uh, now the reply came from this uh, who has server one dot local right the main thing is now this time this uh, 192.168.1.228 is asking who has server one dot local tell 192.168.1.228 and server one has this mac address basically you can see so Actually, it's uh, very clear when a system wants to communicate with another system, it sends a ARP request, as we can see in the uh, in the broadcast message asking who has IP address, and I am requesting tell the computer who wants to initiate or start the uh, communication. So then, on the second phase, if the system is alive, it fetches the MAC address of that second machine as the form of ARP reply. Now the second machine sends ARP request for the initiator or the first machine and then receives the ARP reply itself from the first machine in the form of MAC address. Once both machines have their Ethernet addresses, they can start to talk with each other. And this MAC address is saved in ARP cache. We have already checked the ARP cache. Uh, you can check it uh, IP neighbor command. Okay, we can see that the ARP cache is populated again. Okay, so at first the machine which initiates the communication, we need to note these things that uh, this MAC address is saved in the ARP cache for further communication and without repeating these steps. Okay, a few things we must know that at first the machines which initiates the communication does not know the MAC of the second machine, meaning they cannot communicate. The first machine only knows the IP address, which is a layer three of, uh, which works on the layer three of OSI model, but ARP works on layer two of OSI model, or you can say it works on the top of layer two. That's why we say that ARP works between layer two and layer three because it communicates with the IP address and it uh, with the Ethernet address as well. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in our next video and good luck and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Soon I'm going to post next video about TCP dump I guess. Thank you and goodbye.